Yellowstone is a series that has amazed many with just how good it is. It's all about the family Dutton and their struggle to protect the family land and the family itself. Over the course of four seasons, the show has had many twists and turns, not the least of which was the global pandemic putting a damper on things and delaying the release of season four by quite a bit. But with season four done, all eyes are on season five. And that means speculation. But now, just by fans, but by the actors as well. Allow us to show you how Ian Bohan looks to season five and beyond. Six, Ian Bohan on season five renewal chances. Paramount Network has yet to officially renew the drama, but 100% it's happening, he tells TV Insider. We are shooting in May, and I don't think that's a secret at all. We are starting season five, and I would be completely astounded if we didn't shoot six. And I'd say that there's a fair chance we might shoot a seventh season. Just depends on whether the creator, Taylor Sheridan, wants to write another 10 episodes or if his story is finished at the 60th episode or not. So that's it, and he's going to sit down and go, what do I want to do? Do I want to keep doing this, or do I want to do something different? That makes sense for all sorts of reasons, not the least of which is that Yellowstone is a Paramount Network's biggest hit by a country mile, pun intended. Not to mention, between 1883 and the rumored 6666 spinoff, Paramount as a whole is banking on Yellowstone to feed fans and feed them a lot of content over the next year. And while it's true that some shows don't like to overstay their welcome, this might be a case where the longer they go, the better they get with each and every run. 5. Ryan's Future In an interview with Bohan, he talked about season 4 and 5 and how his character is going to grow in the upcoming season, including in regards to what happened to the bunkhouse. Ryan might be looking this is all just my inner stuff, to switch things up a little bit. He's been there a long time. There's new dynamics, new people, there's new women. I don't know if he's as satisfied as he used to be, so I think he might have his eye on a movement of some kind. One of those things might just be getting off the ranch. A couple of times, Casey, Luke Grimes, will grab me and we'll do something, or we'll go arrest somebody, or shoot some bad guys, or we rescued Tate a season or two ago. So yeah, of course I would like to see more of that. But we have so many people on the sheet to explore the 3D world of all of them, it's just not feasible. So I get scripts and I hope that there's more development like everyone. And then, when there isn't, I try to sneak in my feelings and thoughts into what I do have to work with. 4. New characters, new roles, new dynamics. They also talked about how they might need a new person on the ranch for some of the Duttons to pick on. We could transition Teeter, Jennifer Landon, into that. Or, if the buckle bunnies stick around, we could kind of insert and rotate and have starting rotation of new people to fix that. If Jimmy's gone, we're not going to get a new low man. He's too beloved, so I think it would be a major shuffle at this point possibly, but I'm not sure. I'm just guessing about this stuff because I have no idea what season 5 is going to look like. And for him, it's all about knowing his place in the Dutton Ranch and knowing that sometimes you don't know what's going to happen next. He would either want to stand out to Rip, Cole Hauser, or John Dutton, Kevin Costner, in some manner to show that he wants to sort of be upwardly mobile or some sort of person of dissatisfaction. And I'm not sure he's ready for that, so maybe he's just biding his time and waiting for the right opportunity. It's hard to say. He's part of a wheel. He's a spoke in a wheel, so he's not sure what the hell he's doing half the time. I have to be honest. And before you ask, no, he doesn't know about Ryan's backstory either. Nothing. We have no idea about that. He's never had a romantic interest from any of the people in his world. It's not something I'm sure the audience is terribly interested in. So I just kind of make up stuff as I go along. Maybe it flavors it, but it's not germane to really what the bunkhouse is about. So I just kind of fill that in here and there. 3. Favorite Parts of Season 4 So what were Bohan's favorite parts of the new season? The first thing that comes to mind is when Lloyd, Forey J. Smith, stabs Walker, Ryan Bingham, in the bunkhouse because we watch those in Acts 1, 2, and 3 develop that taunting and teasing to fighting to attempted murder, really so that at the end, then we have to subdue Lloyd and take him to the boss. Shooting that, that was a very heavy day, and I get to deal with Denim 
Richards, and Jake, Reem, and Ethan, Lee. So that was a good time. He also dug the finale with the banter between Ryan and Colby. Yeah, we get along so well, and we always try to flavor stuff up. And a lot of the bunkhouse stuff is improv, and some of the lines are kind of thrown out, and how much we can get away with, and how far we can push it, just because it seems to work so well. And often Taylor will say, just do that stuff, you guys. Just do the thing. Go, go, go. And then we know we have sort of free reign. And he loves doing a certain set of videos. Stories from the bunkhouse are a lot of fun where we get to rehash everything. That's like a reunion for us in between seasons where we go for a couple of days and we sit down and we break down all the episodes. That's a good time. It's always good to hear that someone loves what they're doing. 2. Futures and Shocks As for what he hopes Ryan gets in future seasons, it's something that was talked about before. I'd like to have a love interest and to watch him be a person detached from the ranch and not just an arm of that entity. Who is he as a man? How does he talk to people and what does he want? And, and what does he think about as opposed to sort of just a soldier? That would be interesting to me and I hope I get a chance to look into that. He just might, but that's all on Taylor Sheridan to see if things might go in that direction for him. And as for his most shocking moment on Yellowstone, when Tate was kidnapped and held in the militia house and they cut his hair and they burned him and just the worst sort of trauma for the child that you could imagine. And then seeing him and watching that sort of animal come out of him, I thought that was real and awful because I didn't see it filmed. I just read the script, but then watching it, I was like, that is disturbing. But we show you those things. Yes, yes they do. And that's what makes Yellowstone so exciting to some. 1. How long can Yellowstone go? That's a very intriguing question. Via Bohan, we know that season 5 is happening and will be filming soon. And he has high hopes for maybe another couple of seasons. But beyond that, it can be literally anyone's guess. The question here is one of time, money, cast, and story. You can take away one per se and you'll be okay to make another season. But if certain things fall through on all counts, then you have a problem. But then again, as noted before, there are a lot of spin-offs coming out from Yellowstone, with 1883 already out on Paramount Plus and stirring things up ratings-wise. But it's fair to say that at least for now, the Duttons aren't going anywhere. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at how Yellowstone Season 5 is shaping up in the eyes of one of its main characters? Do you agree with him that Yellowstone Season 5 is basically a guarantee at this point, especially given all of the spin-offs that are coming from it? What would you personally like to see from Season 5 when it happens? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you in the next video.